What is up, y'all? Rich Homie Coward back again with another banger video. I just want to appreciate everybody for watching. Today, we are going to install probably one of the best mods you can do to the interior for your Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, because these just make the interior ambiance so much better because the way Dodge releases it from the factory, it just makes it look a little bit cheap, especially if you're spending, you know, over $50,000 for our cars, y'all. So I didn't have to spend that much for my scat pack, but you know, scat packs are being taxed out here. And of course, Hellcats are gonna spend way more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it is and install it. Let's get into it. So what I got, I got the LED interior kit. So this kit comes with 17 lights and these are one of the higher quality kits that I found on eBay. This video is not sponsored by this company, by the way. I wish that they did, you know, hit me up. But um, anyways, this is the bright white lights and I believe they come with um, blue, green, and red. But I wanted to go for the classy white. It comes with the um, two front map lights, two rear dome lights, four vanity mirror lights, one glove box light, door lights, two for the trunk, and then two spare. So yeah, it comes in this quick little kit. There are no instructions, but it's pretty easy. It'll just be a quick swap. Usually lights, like these two lights here for the vanity mirrors. I'm not sure which ones are for the doors versus the dome lights, but you know, we're gonna figure that out. But yeah, everything should be in here. They also have a challenger version, of course, which comes with you know a lower amount of lights because of course it's a two door versus the charges four doors but yeah without further ado and without me rambling on let's go ahead and install this let's get into it so here are some tools you are going to need you are going to need a phillips head screwdriver because you do have to access uh, a screw on both sides of the rear passenger dome lights and of course your plastic uh, trim removal tool these are definitely a lifesaver because you know instead of using a flat head screwdriver um, and risk scratching or breaking anything these are definitely a perfect um, tools to get the job done and you can get a kit off of this off of Amazon for about eight bucks and it also comes with a metal uh, trim removal tool which I use to uh, you know install my oil catch can so um, if you want to see the oil catch can video click on the top right but yeah, that's all you gotta need. All right, y'all, so the first set of lights I'm going to replace are these. Basically, these front dome lights. The chargers actually uh, come with another set of dome lights too. However, these lights, they're integrated into the actual circuit board. So you will not be able to replace these. I've seen some people go all the way and actually remove it from the circuit board but I mean, I don't even turn these on. These are much brighter anyways, and with the LEDs, they're gonna be super bright that you won't even need these. So let's go ahead and start uh, removing the panel starting from here. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna do this one. And a word of advice, make sure these lights have been off for a while because you're actually gonna be digging up in there and pulling it out and you know, it's gonna be hot. So um, either you know wait for them to cool off or get like a microfiber cloth. So I would just go up here. There you go. And then if you want, you can, you know, pull this all the way down. Just make sure you pull it at a 45 degree angle and just shoot it out like this. But the bulb is exposed and we're just gonna take it out. If for some reason you cannot grab it, a nice little hack is just to use some tape just so you can just wrap around around the light bulb. You can get some leverage and then you can just go ahead and pull it out. There you go, pull it out with the tape. lights look good much better than the uh, than the yellow lights and it's daylight and it's pretty bright so let's go ahead and do the mirrors over here 
So here are the mirror ones. I would be careful and not letting these on for too long because they are super hot. They do get super hot. So I'm gonna close this for now, I guess. But um, all you're gonna do is just take your pry tool, go in here, you're gonna lift off uh, this plastic panel and you're gonna take off the tube light and then you're gonna replace it with this one. So let's get into it. And there you go. Take it out and you have to do this probably really quickly because these lights do get hot pretty quickly. So um, you just take your little pry tool, try get it out of there. There we go. Get the LED, test it before you put it in there. Man, that's bright. Just look at the difference here and here. And then once we use the actual cover to diffuse actual light so it won't be as harsh but man look at the difference between here and here crazy all right so we got these lights done these lights done and these lights so pretty awesome now let's go to the rear i y'all finally have a use for this little storage compartment here other than the keys this is great at putting in you know having your all your bulbs out here we're gonna do the light in the glove box sir there is a light right there i would recommend using the tape method since you know, i can't reach my fingers like that so i'm gonna show you how to do that you know I'll wrap the tape around the lights i'm just gonna pull on the tape there we go then we're just gonna put the lights in there should be good the lights is in and Nice and bright, you can see everything in there. All right, so we're placing the light. The light is right here. We're gonna take the pry tool, start at one of the ends and just pull it off. There we go. And we're just gonna hurry up and unhook this light because it is hot. All right, the light has been unhooked. There it is pretty hot we're just gonna leave it on this thing and then we're gonna take the lights with these hooks on it and make sure when you put it on the LEDs are facing the bottom towards the ground and not up top like this all right so it doesn't light up so we gotta flip the flip it for the polarity there we go see how bright that is and then we're just gonna Put it back up. There we go. All right, so all four doors have been done. Instead of just doing the uh, rear dome lights since those are the most complicated, we're just gonna go to the trunk and then change these rear lights and we should be good to go. All right, so with the trunk light, we're just gonna take the pry tool to the top. There we go. It's one of those hook lights again. Be careful because these get super hot. We're gonna just unhook it, just press this end, and it should. Or you can do it with two hands here. There we go. Ooh. It's a little bit hot and just make sure, just make sure you don't put the actual light bulb on the leather or anything like that because it will burn. It'll burn and leave a little singe mark, so I'll just put it on your little microfiber cloth. Do a little test like once again. Just hook it here, touch it. If nothing's happening, flip it. This and touch it looks good. So we're gonna make sure we do it like this. There we go. So the light shines through like that. Fish in the wire. Dang, there we go. Look how bright that is versus over here. All right, we do have four bulbs left and the last two lights we have to do are the rear dome lights. And remember, the kit comes with two spare ones, which is great, um, but just these kind, um, these bulb sizes though. So any of the bulbs for the doors or the trunk, there's no spare, but anything with the dome lights, uh, the glove box, um, there should be a spare ready to go. All right, so last but not least to replace the rear uh, map lights here. So I'm gonna do 
is you're gonna pull this down. You're gonna take off these two screw covers. I usually just like to take my pry tool and just go along in there. Pretty easy. Right there. And then there are two um, T30 screws that you would have to take out. All right, so to take the light assembly off, a lot of tutorials tell you to take off these two tabs, which is actually hard as hell. You actually, I don't know, it was like different for the 2020 models and up, but it's actually these two tabs back here, which you can take off that are much easier. Just take your pry tool behind here and here to take it off. There. These two tabs back here, and then now, pretty easy to just pry off the light cover. Let me see if I can do it with my hands. After that, just put on your little screw covers and you should be good. There you go, I already did the other side and that's looking good. And yeah, after this, we should be all done. All right, so here are the lights. Lights look good. On camera, they look more yellow than they actually are, but this is like a bright white. Put the white lights there. And the very bright light down there. This used to be you no know, very yellow and not as visible at night. And of course, bang, just look at that. DJ Demo There you go, finally got all the lights Even the door lights you see there Map lights And of course the trunk lights so uh, with this kit you should be left with two left over two lights left over as spares and those spares only are replacements for um, you know the dome lights in the front map lights in the back and that's about it so the actual you know the mirror lights um, the lights for the vanity mirrors and the doors and the trunks use um, a slightly different light but hey you do have replacements for a good amount of lights and yeah they look good all right y'all i just want to thank everybody for watching um it was a different day where i had to install these rear map lights because you are supposed to have a t30 uh screwdriver and i was not prepared so i'll make sure in the beginning of the video i say that you have a t30 screwdriver but but yeah pretty simple install um the only thing that took a little bit long was of course the uh, rear map lights everything else was super easy to replace and it makes the interior look 10 times better and not as cheap with you know the yellow incandescent light bulbs i mean the leds just add a whole nother um atmosphere to the car and it just makes it you know worth its you know 40 50 thousand dollar price tag so um pretty simple install this is probably one of the first things you have to do to the interior of your car and yeah y'all um, this definitely addresses one of the things that i hate about this car which was you know um the interior lights and how cheaply or how cheap it made the car look but with this interior light upgrade it makes the car look amazing so yeah y'all i just want to thank everybody for watching make sure if y'all haven't already smash that like button hit the subscribe let me know about what other mods you want me to do in the comments below and let me know what you think about the lights yeah y'all this is rich homie cow thanks for watching i appreciate everybody Catch y'all later.